Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Anessa's Crazy Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 4th of July berry pie. It's so incredibly delicious and perfect and suitable for the 4th of July this coming week. So let me tell you what you'll need before we get started. Okay, so for this recipe you'll need some fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries to represent the red and blue of the American flag. You'll need a little bit of sugar, some lemon juice, salt, and a little bit of cinnamon, some cornstarch, and a little bit of extra sugar for the topping, which I'll show you later. You'll need a pie crust, and then I have the top of the pie crust waiting over there. And I also have a little star cookie cutter, if you can see it, for the topping. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a really large mixing bowl and you're going to add your strawberries, so all your fresh fruit, strawberries and blueberries, and then you're going to add your sugar to add some sweetness to the pie, some lemon juice, the salt and the cinnamon, and the cornstarch to help thicken the juices when it bakes. It cannot get any simpler than this because basically you've just added all your ingredients other than the ingredients for the topping and then you're just going to stir this all together until it's fully incorporated and the fruit is nicely covered. Okay so taking your pie dish with your pie crust that I buttered underneath it and then just put one half of the pie crust in it. So you're going to take your filling now with your fresh berries and all you're going to do is pour this inside your pie crust. And then I'll show you what you do for the top. Okay, so you're going to set your pie aside. And then for the topping, this is the fun part, we're just going to flour counter. And we're going to roll out our second half of the pie crust. So just, here we go. Okay. And now you want to have it well floured, but not too floury. We don't want that much flour in our pie. <laughs> And then using our star-shaped cookie cutter, I'm just gonna flour it a little bit so it doesn't stick. And then I'm just going to cut out little star shapes into our pie crust. And then taking our pie, I'm just going to assemble these just around the pie in any figuration that you want. And this way it looks really festive for the 4th of July and you can already see the red, white, and blue, the red from the strawberries, the blue from the blueberries, and the sort of whitish from the pie crust forming into our pie. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to all of our pie crust and then I'll show you for how long to bake it. At this point you should have your oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I have my pie all ready to go to put the toppings on. So what I have here is just some chunks of unsalted butter. Now you could completely omit this part but what I'm going to do is just place these in the little crannies of the pie. Just a little bit. I don't have a lot here. Probably not even a tablespoon total. Okay, that's good. So I'll set that aside. And then taking some egg wash, which is one egg beaten with a little bit of water or you can use milk. You're going to take that and a cooking brush, dip it in the egg wash, and then just paint <laughs> on top of your stars and the crust to give it, when it bakes, it will give it a nice golden brown color. 
Okay, so we're all done with that. I think I got all the stars. And then to add a little something special, we're going to take some raw sugar. And you're just going to sprinkle these on top of each of the stars. This adds some more flavor. So delicious. You can even add brown sugar. I mean, I prefer regular white granulated sugar, but brown sugar would do the job as well. Okay, so our pie is all ready to go into our preheated oven to bake for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the top is nicely golden brown and then it's time to cool it off at the end and then for the taste test, my favorite part. So I'm just going to pop this in the oven right now. Okay, so the pie has been baking for about 40 minutes and I just took it out of the oven. It's very hot. So what you're going to need to do is allow this to cool completely for a couple of hours, one to two hours or until it's nice and firm and completely cooled on top. Because if you don't let it cool when you cut into it, all the juices will spill out and it won't stay nice and firm. So just one to two hours, just be patient. I know it's very tempting to eat it now, but I'm just gonna wait one to two hours until it's ready and then it's time for the taste test. So, see you then. Okay, so the pie has been cooling for about an hour and a half and it's time for the best part, the taste test. So I'm just going to cut a good piece. It smells so good in here and I think what makes it smell so good is really the cinnamon. It goes a long way. So just give me a sec while I get this out of the pan and then I'll taste it for you. Mm. Wow, it is so good and I mean you cannot go wrong with this pie because everybody would like it. If you're not a berry lover, become one because you will love this pie and you can make it to, and get the recipe on my website which I will leave a link to down below. Happy 4th of July everybody. Don't be afraid to get crazy in the kitchen and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.